All right, Twin Flames, let's see where we go today. This is a reading for you for the week, November 21st through the 28th, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, this could be a bigger picture reading. I've noticed that in the recent past that some of the uh, readings uh, translated to more of a, a month or a two month period, some of it a day or two. Sometimes the readings are like a day or two long. So whatever resonates for you, that's what you need to focus on. Um, I'm just a channel that brings through information. If something resonates with you, that's what you pay attention to. All right, so let's see where we go. In the extended, I will pull cards for each zodiac sign, whether they're divine masculine, divine feminine. It is the integration of masculine and feminine within each one of us. So you can also take these readings as to what's going on inside of you. All right, I keep seeing that full moon energy show up in my shuffling here. And we do have a full moon in Gemini coming up, which is the lover's card on uh, November 27th, which is the tail end of the time span of my intention here. So let's see what we get for Twin Flames. Yeah, oh my goodness, power, 100%. This has been showing up in a lot of the readings recently. Power, magic, very interesting, trust. All right, so um, some of you may be um, dealing with issues of power. Some of you may need to take your power back. Some of you may be uh, kind of falling um, into some kind of magical thinking around uh, twin flame or soulmate connections that isn't really what you're to do, okay? Twin flame relationships or twin flame connections are really about pushing us toward more personal growth. So every time you come in contact with that twin, there's a, a, a sense of going deeper, going deeper into the growth that I'm here to realize, going deeper into my lessons, going deeper. Um, that's really what a, a twin flame, especially a divine feminine. Divine feminine is here to go deeper into their own healing and growth uh, divine masculine heals in union, divine feminine heals in separation. I've been saying that for a long time now. And, you know, whether you're kind of like hearing me say that, but it doesn't make sense to you, or if you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense to me. Wherever you are on the spectrum, I feel like there are lessons of power and trust um, that need to be learned right now. And somebody, mag master, um, master of the universe, uh, somebody divine masculine or divine feminine is having a little magical thinking around it. Okay. So what is going on? This is for the feminine, please. I saw the nine of pentacles underneath. Um, I'm going to take that nine of pentacles. Come here, you. And then there's this knight of cups, knight of swords, page of pentacles and the sun. Wow. Lovers. Here we go. So there's this, there's a sense of, um, fighting with oneself as a divine feminine fighting with oneself. Um, one day super romantic connection or feeling really good about the twin the next day being super pissed about the twin. There's just this push me, pull you thing. Wow. And I'm getting a, okay. Um, so this does have the reason that this push me, pull you stuff is happening is because your power, your sense of power, divine feminine might be linked to this relationship, your sense of identity. Um, it doesn't have to be just to the person that you're thinking of the divine masculine energy. It can be to, this is one of the lessons that your divine masculine and you are here to heal, which is this sense of love relationship, marriage, traditional connection, uh, being your identity. Okay. Or, um, feeling like if you're single, then you're not as, um, worthy or you're not, no, no, that's not right. You're not as, um, uh, fulfilled as a human being without a partner. And I feel like the new lesson is, is to be like super happy in your own integration, masculine and feminine right there. Okay. So the feminine, what's coming up for the feminine here, nine, uh, nine of swords. See, this is anxiety. And the teacher is shining the light on this. So this can be the partner or this can be the circumstance shining the light on this page of swords messages, message trying to come through to you 
Look at that. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles. The way forward is to work on this particular lesson. And so I'm seeing Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. So the Pentacles versus the Swords. What's real and what's imaginary or what is mindset um, mindset can be controlling your whole uh, physical existence it can be keeping you in a state of um, lack okay and so this whole push me pull you thing back and forth uh, if you have a push pull relationship with your twin flame or if that's what's showing up in your relationships in general the universe is trying to show you that self-integration, that internal masculine feminine integration is the real goal here, especially if you view relationships or marriage or something as an identity. It's not, okay? It's not your identity. It's not who you are. It's simply a state of your life. It's an expression of, of your um, desire for commitment, but it doesn't make you more complete as a person it doesn't that's one of the biggest things that divine feminine is here to heal their identity around being married or their identity about around being in a couple okay that's one that's a big lesson here for divine feminine showing up right now that that's kind of a relinquishing of power because the internal masculine feminine really is the thing, right? The internal masculine feminine is really the integration and not an external. So don't outsource your power. I feel like that's what the, what the, um, the spirit, uh, or the spirit connection around this or the teacher is saying. So divine masculine, what is going on for the divine masculine right now? Magician. All right. So magic, high priestess, ace of wands. Wow. Ace of cups and the six of swords again, the page of pentacles. So this is about um, masculine ha putting uh, divine feminine on a pedestal. Okay. On a pedestal and seeing this person or this connection as a w escape, a an escape or a way to be out of a situation that I don't like. I'm kind of, uh, this is kind of limerence. If you've never heard of limerence, it's, it's kind of a way, um, especially with, uh, kids that have uh, um, patterns of abuse, that's that's a strong word, but sort of like absent parents or whatever, divine masculine can be um, seeing their connection to the divine feminine as like a realization of their own power or something like that, that they are able to manifest more strongly when they're with their divine feminine. Now, both of these things are true, but it's sort of like, is there a healthy connection to these beliefs? Does it, do you have to be married to have, to be a real person as an identity? No. Do you have to have another person with you in order to realize your power? No. Okay. So that's what's going on here is the lessons, the strength card coming up for divine masculine, queen of cups, uh, divine masculine may be getting free of a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo, or a Gemini. The feminine is dealing with Leo, Gemini as well, Virgo, lots of Virgo here. Um, so opportunity is the moon. This full moon in Gemini is going to be a big deal. So let's see. There's that nine of pentacles again, ten of pentacles, the six of cups, and the page of wands. So I feel like the, the full moon in Gemini is really doing... Um, a very, uh, a lot of heavy lifting around these lessons. Gemini is, Gemini is about a choice, right? Gemini, there's two sides to Gemini. There's, um, a sense of detail, a sense of really digging into it, seeing what this is really all about. And I feel like the full moon in Gemini is kind of bringing, bringing to a close the last six months, a chapter in the last six months that maybe, uh, you, um, there's issues of power and trust that need to be resolved and will be resolved in the full moon in Gemini. Mm. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the connection. What's going on for the connection, please? All right, underneath, five of pentacles, a sense of lack. Okay, um, page of swords. Notice the page energy here, page of wands, page of pentacles. Page of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. 
All right. There's a lot of messaging energy here. Nine of cups about like not being right. Justice. Okay. About, and that's Libra energy, which is definitely right now the South node and Venus are in Libra on the 24th. If you want to go back and look at your individual reading, it's a Zodiac reading for, um, the end of 2023, I integrated uh, astrology into all of those readings. Here's the playlist um, that you can check out, or it's in the description box. And Libra, the with Venus and South Node in opposition uh, to a stellium and Aries, what that means is you're really going toward an expression of yourself as powerful and integrated regardless of twin flame connection in the 3D. This is about a real 5D connection that is internal. So the integration happens internally um, with this kind of masculine and feminine power happening um, within both twins. And there's a sense of like not, this sounds a little weird, but like not needing the twin to be... Um, uh, happy or have an identity or uh, feel powerful or anything like that. There's just a sense of like the twin experience right now is pushing you both masculine and feminine toward a solid identity as an integrated masculine feminine internally. Okay. So that's really interesting. Knight of Pentacles, more Virgo energy, Knight of Cups. Interesting. Opportunity, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, no Ace of Swords, all right, Eight of Swords, again, there's the Five of Swords, there's the Fool, and there's the Lovers. So, Twin Flame is coming together internally. This is a, I feel like this portends an integration of, or a union between masculine and feminine in that 3D space. It's almost like the, I don't, the I'm healing these particular issues. Some of you may uh, really resonate with that identity piece. Some of you may be resonating with that power piece. And either way, I feel like you're seeing how this is for the collective. It's sort of like how I'm manipulating myself, how I'm telling myself, or feeling like I don't, like I'm not integrated or whole without the other. Um, I just feel like this is about the heavy, the hard work of romancing the self or that the, the um, or the healing of the self. So this is the divine feminine energy um, that is, what did I just say to you? This is the divine feminine energy of not needing to have a partner to ha build an identity and feeling completely aligned with mission and purpose and all of that, like removing this kind of mindset, completely healing it, removing this mindset. Masculine uh, energy here is activating this past life belief of being the provider or something. There's a lot of traditional roles being healed right now. One, two, three, four, five. So within the next five days, okay, so this is by the end of this year, um, there is something about healing traditional roles. And that's a big one. All right, that's one of the big reasons Twin Flame is here. All right, can I clarify the magic, please? That magic. This is moon. This is intuition. Some of you are really healing your relationship to your intuition. Now you're hearing it. Now you're able to understand it. Page of Cups, messages, lighthearted messages. Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups. So you're definitely coming closer to your own happiness, regardless of whether this person, this twin flame is in your life in the 3D. There's something that you're learning and being like, oh, wow. Yes, I see that pattern in myself. Right. And just being like, yeah, I see it. And now I can integrate it. Now I get it. Now I see why I'm in this kind of limerent uh, experience with my twin flame. And that's something that is on the forefront of being healed. Your identity, your power, your mission, your purpose, your um, 
you know, whatever childhood uh, experiences you've had that needed to be, it's almost like you needed a hole to be fulfilled. Like um, if you don't, didn't feel seen by your folks or if you didn't feel supported by them or if you felt ignored by them or anything like that, you can find that a lot of children or a lot of people who were, who were um, in those types of homes uh, are twin flames because we are here to, to heal all of those things that didn't work for us as children didn't and won't work for future generations. We got to eradicate that whole behavior, right? That whole kind of thing. We're eradicating it. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. If this is your reading, I will pull cards for each Zodiac sign for some guidance for you. And then I will see where we're taking this. I do see, um, I do see a sense of a new beginning here. The lovers, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, only from a, a whole place. Okay. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue with me, Twin Flames, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.